Hello traders, this is Rich from TradeSite. This is a look at the market preview for the coming session. This is going to be for Wednesday, December 4th, 2013. The uh, markets today across the board were uh, playing out to the downside. The uh, market internals were negative, but not, but not really decisively so. Uh, the one thing that, uh, that we did get was we did get a fairly uh, high, high reading in, in the um, New York trend at 1.27. So that's definitely going to uh, elevate the uh, the 10 day trend reading in our uh, in our critical chart there. Uh, put call ratio also uh, started creeping up a little bit, but uh, is still not yet at that uh, climactic level. Let's move on and take a look at the uh, individual futures charts. All right, so here's a look at the uh, here's a look at the ES futures. You can see that we still have our 12 in place on the uh, secret exhaustion run, but we don't quite have that 13. We did settle down below the 10 EMA. That's a notable development. If we uh, follow through to the downside and take out today's low, we're going to uh, wind up with a condition that puts us in short-term negative. We're going to have a little bit of support at the uh, 5 ace level, but more meaningful support right here at about 1771, which was the, uh, the, the previous high here that took a couple of weeks to break through. So keep that in mind. To the upside, the 6 ace level at 1812.50 is definitely the sheriff in town. And once we start getting back up in there, we're going to start talking about printing that 13 exhaustion. All right, now here are the NQ futures. The NQs have that 13 in place already. Uh, we still have got a, a good bit of space before we get below that 10 EMA uh, and really turn this to the downside. So for now, you can see the MACD down there is still, is still positive, and that's, fi that's fine for now. But if we do cross below that 10, that 10 uh, EMA, we're going to see probably a cross as well on the uh, on the on the MACD, and then we're going to put the zero, the uh, 8 ace level at 34.37.50 in play. To the upside, uh, the high water mark of the move so far will be first resistance, second resistance. That's about uh, 35.01. Second resistance is going to be that uh, risk level, which is going to be really, really important, and much more more important than the plus one ace level at 35.24 and a half. All right, so let, let's take let's take a look at the uh, market internals. The 10-day trend did uh, make a little bit of a push to the upside here. Didn't really move the needle that much, but keep in mind that we do have a 1.27 reading that's going to go into the uh, into the average and going to be there for a while. So we could definitely see. Uh, that 1.35 threshold sooner rather than later, but uh, but we'll have to have to wait for that. For now, the uh, the New York Stock Exchange trend on the 10-day uh, average is definitely still neutral. Here's a look at the here's a look at the NDX versus the S&P. The S&P still uh, still kind of lagging. The NDX is definitely exerting uh, more relative strength, even with that 13 exhaustion in place. This is the daily chart. If we if we flip this up to the, you can see the trend channel here, and if we flip this up to the uh, to the weekly chart, we're going to start to see where this really uh, begins to be a problem. This is the going to be the upper channel here, and this is going to be a very very big area on this chart where we where where we previously had some uh, terminally uh, resistive strength from this ratio. If this ratio does break out above that. And start to uh, ascend towards the previous highs. That's going to be really, really bullish for the market overall. But until that happens, this is going to be a key resistance area. So we don't want to get sucked into uh, falling too in love with the Nasdaq uh, side of the market. Here's a look at the uh, oil services. That's the OSX. That's the red line up at the top top graph here versus the uh, oil futures themselves. Oil futures today had a really, really strong move to the upside. This uh, whole drop in the in the in the oil futures was kind of uh, kind of suspect. A lot of it was news driven because the oil the oil services index did not roll over in conjun conjunction with that. The way these things usually resolve is they usually res resolve in favor of the uh, underlying stocks, which which here is the OSX. So for now, um, definitely take a look at uh, oil futures or the USO if you prefer to, to trade the equity ETFs. We did make a pretty good pivot there, so we definitely could see uh, see higher prices in the uh, in the in the oil futures themselves. So here's a look at the oil futures themselves. We had this 13 exhaustion uh, warning back here. We did make good on that. Rolled down here, did a nine bar run to the downside, did a second nine bar run, and then proceeded into the exhaustion phase. 
with the 13 exhaustion warning being being um, put in place just last week. We uh, started to use the risk level here a little bit, but it did hold up and proved to be support. We pivoted back above today and decisively closed above the uh, the 10 EMA. All you need is one day's worth of follow through, and we're going to have a uh, this exhaustion warning turn into an outright buy signal. One thing to keep in mind, though, is we're going to have some pretty good resistance where the uh, 50 DMA converges with the 200 DMA at first. Then that'll open the door to the uh, 100, 100 level once that gets worked through. All right, so here's a look at the multi-sector daily chart. You can see that there was quite a bit of weakness across the board today. The semiconductors, uh, which, are the, which is blue here, was the only thing that was really positive. Uh, all the other major uh, indexes were lower on the day, including the XAU, so definitely no flight to quality just yet in the XAU. All right, so here's a look at the uh, the individual sectors. Let's rank them from best to worst as we like to do. Top gun on the day was oil services. Pretty good showing there. No, no surprise since uh, oil was up uh, up $3 on the day. The uh, utilities were also fairly strong. The socks was definitely the uh, the bright point in the uh, in the Nasdaq patch. The bomb of the uh, at the bottom of the uh, barrel today was the uh, airline index. Higher fuel costs don't help them, and the uh, BTK was also buried pretty far down. BKX also had a fairly weak showing today, and we'll take a look at those charts now. All right, so here's a look at the oil services, the OSX, still using the active static trend line as key support. We did do this nine bar momentum move to the downside on the seeker. And right now we're trying to uh, take care of that, that 10 EMA. If we get a close and a follow through above the 10 EMA, we will turn uh, short term positive again in the oil services and then potentially put this uh, active static trend line back into, uh, back into the uh, equation and back into the conversation. The uh, semiconductors made a new high close on the move, but they're still below the exhaustion level uh, risk line, which is just overhead. We're seven days up now into this momentum move of the uh, new seeker count, so definitely uh, be prepared for a little bit more resistance here at that uh, at that key at that key risk level. Transports today were down about one percent, starting to uh, roll to the downside here. The key thing is that we close below the 10 EMA. And we've got a 13 exhaustion in place. So if we follow through to the downside, we're definitely going to uh, uh, have to keep in mind that we do have a seeker uh, exhaustion, pl exhaustion in place. All right, moving on to the BKX. Had a pretty pretty nasty down day there. Uh, this chart's a little bit off, but uh, we did settle down uh, considerably below below the 10 EMA, so we're definitely going to wind up being short-term negative uh, with just just a little bit of follow through. Also on this one, make sure you see the MACD here. The MACD did get fairly elevated and we're just right on the cusp of a, of a negative cross in the MACD as well, which could uh, start to uh, influence price and put a little pressure and perhaps build some momentum to the downside. XAU today, uh, lower on the day again. Uh, we settled just below the minus two A's level on the GAN box. So this is gonna, this is gonna wind up frame shifting to the downside which is always a negative development. Keep in mind that we're only two days down in the exhaustion run of the uh, seeker count, so we're uh, still a ways away from getting any help from there. Moving on to the BIOS, the BTK used the 10 EMA for support. Key thing here is look at the nice little setup here. We've got this potential little island set up here. So if we get back down below uh, Today's current low, we're going to wind up having this little vacuum back down into the uh, 4 ace level at 2250, which could be a real, 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 real nice setup uh, if we see if we see some uh, end of year profit taking in this very, very, very good performing group from this year of uh, of uh, 2013. All right, folks. As always, thanks for listening. This has been Rich for TradeSite.